Hey everybody, uh, I was caving yesterday and I found behind this wall over here, there's a skeleton spawner in there. Haven't found one of those yet, it's taken me since the beginning of Serenity, believe it or not, of this map anyway, to find this thing. But, there's a skeleton spawner back there and as you can see, they're shooting at me. They'll, they may shoot me, but I don't really care. <laughs> um, yeah, this thing produces produces pretty well. I get a lot of skeletons, as long as there's not too much lag, which there hasn't been lately. From the sound of it, there are quite a few in there. And uh, let me put this away. I'm quite a ways from my house also. Um, I've moved my mini-map down to the bottom right corner of my screen because so it doesn't block the... Uh, text of when I put hit F3 and let's see due east that direction about let's see where I'm at 2344 well about 344 blocks to the east is my house now if you look at my mini map and let me bring up the big map here almost directly above me <laughs> excuse me that <clears throat> that little red dot in the middle, that's me. And uh, there's a rather large construction above me. I have no idea what it is or who it belongs to. But I did talk to Bengar last night. And he, he went up and checked. He says he's pretty sure I'm clear down here. I'm not directly below that construction. It's right up there and that way, just a little bit. But he did come by today, well, actually very, very early in the morning for me, and he cleared me. He said I should be okay here, but if that's your property up there and you see the video, let me know if that's a problem, and I'll, I'll give you the spawner. It's completely constructed, and it is producing quite a number of skeletons. Uh, there are only two here now. I did, when I got this thing built, the, I had him fallen to this block here, and that was apparently a little too far because they were dying every time they hit it, even though it's a 23 dro uh, block drop. Uh, I can take this bone and I can just hit them twice and they die. That one I just hit once. Now see that one died as soon as he hit the he hit the floor. Uh, I have a little bit more to do here. Come on, die. <clears throat> um, I'm going to put in steps right there, and uh, I don't have any wood to make myself a crafting bench, so I'm going to have to go back to the, my house and do that. Um, I, f I did this one slightly different than I did my zombie spawner. I didn't think about it when I built my zombie spawner, but you, you have to have two two spaces. I'm going to get shot standing here, but beneath the spawner and the floor, it, you need two spaces in case they now then, in case they spawn back there. They don't. Put, get pushed forward and get stuck right there behind the spawner. Yeah, that was my mistake, but I fixed it. It seems to be working well now, and I'm getting skeletons. I do need to go home now, and I want to get some stone, just some regular clean stone to fix this with, and bring a, a crafting table over here, so I'm going to do that rid of all this most of the stuff I have in, on me here <clears throat> then we'll zap back over to the house and we'll get those the stone that I need and I believe I have a few cr extra crafting benches laying around so let's do that I'm gonna go slash home I'm gonna drink some coffee <clears throat> man I bought some coffee at a local coffee house yesterday and I think I'm, we are getting a little bit of lag here. Wow. 
wow, 9.8 ticks per second. That's not too bad. Um, anyway, bought some coffee at a local coffee house yesterday. He said it was supposed to be a good medium blend. I told him I wanted a, a uh, old, strong blend. But he said this is a medium Sumatran, if that means anything to you. And it wasn't very good. I know you're supposed to leave, after you roast your beans, you're supposed to leave them sit overnight. That should be plenty of that. And I need to think if I need anything else. Um, I'm going to go get some. No, that should, that should be everything I need. Wait. I do. I'm going to need some brick, uh, stone bricks. You're supposed to let them sit overnight to outgas the CO2, carbon dioxide, in them. And I'm not sure that they did that. Oh, I don't need them. I have these right here. Because as soon as I poured the water into my coffee press, they foamed. You, you would think that I had poured soda in there. And we made the coffee, and it wasn't very good. Let's go back to home roaming. Romeong. There we go. <clears throat> anyway, did it, it just wasn't very good. It was some of the worst coffee I've ever drunk. And that's that's saying something about bad coffee. Uh, the first thing I want to fix is this right here. Because I hate having to jump up on that thing. <laughs> so let's put some stairs here. And I should be able to... Yeah. It works just like my, my skeleton spawner. But uh, I'm going to try and spend some time here to give you an idea of how many skeletons I can get, even with... <coughs> uh, excuse me again, I visited my brother last night. He's a smoker, and we... Uh, I'm a little congested this morning. So, I paid $11 for a pound of coffee that I'm not going to really enjoy drinking. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, I also watched a movie last night that was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. <laughs> I watched House of the Devil, uh, 2009. Supposed to be a scary, s supernatural horror movie set in the 80s. And granted, I paid $3 for it at the dollar store, but... I got a George Romero movie for three dollars that was really good. Um, I can't remember the name of it at the moment, but it was really good. It had an opening by George Romero that was funny, and it was kind of a funny movie. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. This other movie, this House of, House of the Devil, was just horrendous. I don't even know how to explain this movie. It was unwatchable. Uh, if you've seen the movie Kung Pao, it's worse than that. It really is. This is one of the worst, worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Don't ever get that movie. I would actually be more interested in seeing... There was, there was a movie called House of the Devil that came out... Water? Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess I better put that back, huh? That's, that's my water ladder, bringing the skeletons up. Um, oh yeah, good. I, I couldn't remember. I put ladders along the back here to keep the water in place, so it should be okay. And I'm going to leave two blocks here just to mark where the entrance to the spawner is. But yeah, there was a movie written in, or produced in, 1896 by Georges Méliès. And if you've ever seen the movie Hugo, Georges Méliès was in that movie as a character. Um, he he was a, supposedly a really good movie producer, director, a long, long time ago. I'm trying to find a place to put this stuff. I mean, I brought chests just for this. 
Okay. <laughs> I'll eventually move all this back home. But I think I would actually be more interested in watching that movie, or made in 1896, than I would be, be in the 2009 movie, because that was, that was really bad. And uh, I'm not getting a lot of skeletons today, I guess because, do we still have lag? Let's see. Yeah, see that should be 20 TPS down here in the bottom left corner. It's only nine. <clears throat> so I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna let the zombie, the skeletons build up a little bit, and then I will come back and show you what I normally get. I normally get a lot of skeletons from this. Uh, well, I don't know. They're falling pretty pretty good now. I may just wait a minute. Where's my need my shovel? Put all my tools down here, put away while I was building this. All right, put stone in here. Sorry, this is a if this is a little bit boring today. I'm I'm just mainly waiting on the, a number of skeletons to build up over here. I've been wanting a good place to get arrows because I keep running out and my uh, just I'm too lazy to breed chickens. I guess I had plenty of flint and ended up throwing <clears throat> throwing some away the other day. But I wonder how many I have in there. No, there, there are definitely not 34 skeletons in there. That one shot at me. Um, yeah, this is... Well, I don't know, there were a number of them in here. I've killed enough now that it wouldn't be worth throwing a health potion at them. There's one stuck in the wall. There he is. He popped out. Okay, let's see. Just from what we've gotten here, I picked up... I, I had one bone and one arrow, I think. I picked up 16 bones, 12 arrows, and a bow. So that's not too bad. Um, I, now I just need to figure out how I'm going to get around <laughs> this spawner to get out of here because the spawner is between me and the cave so um let's see i need my pick i think that's just yeah that's just an unbreaking pick i had another one here there it is i needed that efficiency pick because things were going slow last night carving out the inside of that and yeah so let's see here can i get out this way nope I think I can get out this way, though. Let's clear that. Let's put that there. Okay. I could have sworn... Oh, hey, iron. I could have sworn that I left... I lined the inside of this thing with... Um... Oh, that was good. I just healed myself and didn't need to. I, I thought I had lined this with cobblestone so I would be able to find my way out of here. But I suppose not. And even with the number of mobs that are spawning inside uh, the cave system around here, I'm st I've still been getting a good number. Oops, sorry about that. I did not mean to break that with my pick. I'm getting a good number of skeletons. So, I mean, enough that there's no way I'm complaining. Okay, let's see. I need to go... There's the bo the room is nine blocks square, so I need to go 12, 10, 11 blocks that way, and then turn left. And I should run into cobblestone after I turn left. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, <clears throat> one, two. I'm counting this one. It's eleven. Yeah, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get this. 
Because <clears throat> I'm going to need it. Didn't think I would, but I do. Alright. Wonderful me has forgotten my my count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna go to the number twelve here. I hear a zombie. Can you hear him? I hope so. Otherwise my little technique of recording is <clears throat> going bad again. Alright, let's go this way. I should go this way until I run into cobblestone. That's actually if I'm not mistaken, that right there will open up into the spawn. Yes it does. I guess I'll need to come back through here and replace this with stone as well. But I brought a lot, so it's no biggie. Okay. Over here. Oh, man. Gravel. I hate gravel. A little bit of lag. Not too bad, though. Right, we're going to leave that open because I'm going up this way. Coffee's getting cold here. <clears throat> I'm no coffee snob, but I'm not a big fan of Folgers. And that's what I'm drinking. <clears throat> One, two. Mm, let's just go three just to make sure. Yeah, this is probably going to do it right here. Yep, look at that. Almost. Hi. Um, I'll be right back. Excuse me, one moment. Yeah, I need to take care of this guy. I'm not going to need this, or this, but I am going to need this. My poor little Respiration 3 helmet that I've had, because I was too lazy to change it, forgot I had it on, is about to die. I wish I could repair it and keep the enchantment, but I can't. Oh, hey. I had to get another sword too. My my sword was dying. I better eat something. <laughs> now I'm not gonna go caving here. That's this is not the point of this exercise. I wanted to show off the spawner that I found. So I'm just trying to waste a little time here so I can get some uh, some skeletons built up. Not sure that's gonna happen right now though. Um, uh, so let's just destroy these guys like this. Well, not very impressive, but it's fun. <laughs> so, here we go. That's it. And, oh, I, can, I think I can replace that piece of stone now. And I'll do some more work on this offline, or off camera. Because I need to replace all that dirt with stone and everything around there. Hey, dude. Excuse me. There we go. I'm so glad. I was so glad when they fixed the hitboxes on mobs in SMP. Uh, you can kneecap them now. Used to be. It used to have to hit them in the upper torso. Anyway. That's it. That's just what I wanted to show off and to let whoever owns the property above me there know that I did not come down here and try and take your stuff. So if this is yours or if this is too close to your place, just let me know. I'll uh, I'll donate it to you and <coughs> would appreciate it if I could still use it. But other than that, yeah, I didn't. I'm not here to grieve for anything. So there you go. And hit the right button, dummy. <clears throat> so, I, uh, thanks everybody for watching, if you see this video. And peace out. I will see you sometime in the future. Bye.